In this video, I'm going to give you a Project 24 update for September 7th through September 14th of 2019. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Alston and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested in different tips and tricks in how to find success online. All right, so as I just mentioned, I'm going to do a Project 24 update on four of my sites for the week of September 7th through the 14th. Now I just wanna give you a quick overview and recap of what Project 24 is if you're new to my channel. Basically, Project 24 is a content marketing course that I've been following. I joined Project 24 on September 7th of 2018. I currently have uh, five or six websites or, or blogs that follow the Project 24 model. Now, basically with Project 24, it began as a blogging course. Since then, they have added a number of features that are uh, well worth the price of admission. For example, they've added a free WordPress theme. The reason why this WordPress theme is different than anything else that I've tried, and, and I've tried a number of them, um, it's actually incredibly fast. Um, it loads incredibly fast. It ranks a 99 on the um, speed test page, the Google speed speed page. Um, so that's something that's very important. They've added a YouTube course. So if you are looking to use use YouTube for your content marketing, they've added a complete course on that. They've also added a Pinterest course. Now this is uh, all of these courses and all of these things that I'm mentioning, they've added to the course for free. Um, there is a link in the description to Project 24 if you are interested in learning more and getting started with content marketing the right way. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that are telling you how to do co content marketing and there is a, a lot left to be desired. Um, so check out that link if you wanna learn a little bit more about content marketing and how to get started the right way. Anyway, let's take a look at my sites. Uh, the site that you now see on the screen, it's my largest site. I currently have somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts. In addition, I have about 25 to 35 YouTube videos. Um, I currently have 42 subscribers on this channel. In addition, I pulled up the, um, the metrics, the analytics for the last 365 days. Over the last 365 days, I have had 25,000 views and I've had 61, almost 62,000 watch um, watch time, minutes, uh, minutes of watch time, we'll say. Um, so that, that all goes into content marketing and the purpose of content marketing is to um, get people to, uh, the whole purpose of content marketing is to solve a problem and then you can help them uh, make it easier for them by clicking on your link and purchasing maybe an affiliate product or a digital product, whatever it may be. Anyway, so that is the, the, the YouTube analytics or the YouTube stats. If you look on the page here over the, the week, I've had 380 page views, 195 unique views, an average time on page of 31 seconds, a bounce rate of 15.64. This is a direct result of adding that free WordPress theme um, and an exit percent of 47.11%. Uh, so you can see if you did the math roughly, I'm, I'm averaging somewhere between, we'll say about maybe 60 to 70 uh, page views per day. If we continue on, uh, organic search is leading the way. If you followed this channel, if you watched any of my other videos, uh, this is probably flipped in the last two or three months. Prior to that, the direct results, so people going directly to my channel, led the way as with regard to um, how people were finding my site. Now, if you know anything about um, content marketing in general, you know that organic search is really the true and only way to have sustained consistent success. You can kind of fudge it or manipulate it a little bit with, with paid and, and um, putting your links on Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and all of those places. But the real only way to have long-term sustained success is with uh, getting found organically. And that includes uh, YouTube, Google, Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, um, you name it, any search engine out there, you wanna get found organically. So if we continue on and we take a look at uh, where the traffic actually comes from. Direct still leads the way. And as I mentioned a few months ago in this, or uh, maybe a few videos ago at this point, um, the one thing that I'm not really sure about is while it says direct leads the way followed by um, Google organic, and, and it says on here that Google only has three, if I look at the Google search console, there are a lot more than just three clicks over the past week. So that's something that probably needs to be figured out. Anyway, uh, one thing that I, I, I always highlight is my my first search result is Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo. You want that to be Google. And I still haven't figured out the trick and, and why um, why that is. 
maybe I need to go back and, and I've mentioned this a few different times is better keyword research, at least initially. Uh, but those are all things that, that need to get worked out and things that I'm working on with regard to creating content. Um, so these are the top 10 results over the last week of how people are finding my blog. If we take a look and I like to show people where, um, where, where my traffic is coming from, as you can see, the top four are first world or developed countries. This is what you want to see if you are looking to make money from your blog. As I mentioned a few different times, you want to target or you want your target audience, or your target market to be first world countries because they have shown that they are willing to buy their way out of a problem. So let's say they have an uh, an issue with, um, we'll say issue with batteries. Instead of checking to see if their old battery still works, They'll run out and buy a new one or they'll go on Amazon and buy a new one. And that's kind of why you want to target first world countries or developed countries because they have shown uh, over and over again that they are willing to buy their way out of a, of a problem. So that is the first site. All right, so here's my second site. My second site has somewhere between, I would say, 35 and 45 blog posts. Um, this site is probably pound for pound doing a little bit better than my first site. The main reason for that is I did much better keyword research. Um, I think the writing on it is probably the same. Um, I actually knew more about the first topic than this topic, but as you can see, 125 page views, 123 unique views, people aren't coming back. Once I get the information, average time on page, five minutes, 32 seconds, a bounce rate, 88.60. I actually have X theme, that's a different premium uh, WordPress theme, and you can notice the difference between the bounce rate and the extra percent is 91.2. If we continue on, you can see where my traffic is coming from. Uh, overwhelmingly, it's organic, followed by direct, social, and referral. If we look uh, at a better breakdown, you can see Google leads the way, and this is what you want if you are creating blog content, um, followed by direct, Facebook, um, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and then AOL. Um, one of the things that I, I mentioned frequently is I have a plugin called blog to social that is on or was on a few of my sites. And one of the things with blog to social, at least the premium version, is that it automatically will send out blog posts over a um, given period of time. So while I have not created new content for this blog or for this website, um, that, that blog to social plugin is still sending out my... Um, my, my blog post automated through Facebook and some of the other mediums that I already set up. And then finally, let's take a look at um, where my traffic is. So as you can see, the first three are, again, first world countries or developed countries. Um, the, the difference between this one, this, this, um, this website, my first one, is this niche is much, much bigger. Um, it's, it has a much greater worldwide appeal. And so um, that's why you're going to see the traffic a little bit better um, from more areas. So that is my second site. My third site, and this is, I believe this is my travel site. So I do, I have a, a, a blog, I have a website, a blog um, called learnkenosha.com. It is for, it's like a, it's a tourist, touristy type site. Um, Kenosha is considered a tourist town. It's also a suburb of Chicago, even though we're here in Wisconsin. Uh, the reason why I created this site is my plan was to sell ad space to the local restaurants and businesses of Kenosha because ad revenue or the ad cost is a little bit more, a little bit higher because we are in the Chicago slash Milwaukee market. And so if I sold ad revenue, uh, to local businesses, I could make money pretty passively. Um, once I joined Project 24, I realized that the only way to get traffic to the site organically was to create blog posts. And so in January, um, I started creating blog posts for learnkenosha.com. And as you can see, this is the traffic over from September 7th through September 14th. If we take a look at where the traffic came from, you can see it came from both direct and organic. So uh, learnkenosha.com, people are just typing that in and going there. And then Google led the way. If we continue on, uh, quite honestly, I feel like if, if, if someone is coming to this site from outside of the United States, they are attempting to hack the site. Um, quite honestly, Kenosha is probably really only known in the Midwest. 
and even then uh, probably just very local. Um, I could be wrong in assuming that, and if you are from France or Indonesia and you're planning on stopping in Kenosha or you're doing a research project, I guess, on Kenosha, feel free to let me know in the comments that you are not a hacker or a scammer. So that is my third site. My fourth site, and this site is my smallest site. This site actually only has 10 blog posts, and the reason why I like to show this site is to let you know that very small micro niches can work if you do the keyword research correctly. Uh, one of my pitfalls and one of my biggest regrets I could say with regard to creating uh, my, my first website is I did not get keyword research correctly. I tried to move quickly through it and as you can see the results are not where they should be. Now uh, Project 24 and Income School they have created a timeline. Obviously it's not um, a hard and fast rule. There are a lot of things that come into play when, when trying to project how well a website or a blog will do. But in my opinion, I feel like that, that website, that, that, uh, that blog should be a little bit further along. Um, and a huge part of that is because of the keyword research or the lack thereof in the quality of the keyword research. Anyway, getting back to this website, this website, as I said, has about 10 blog posts. It doesn't have any images. It only has a logo. Um, there's nothing fancy and I think there are a few direct affiliate links that is really it and as you can see I'm getting 183 page views a week uh, 177 unique views average time on page 39 seconds uh, bounce rate of 93.22 this website also has X theme it does not have the the new updated theme and the other cool thing about project 24 and income school is you can add this theme to an unlimited number of websites that you directly own um, so there's no limit. It was completely free to Project 24 users. It's a no-brainer. This website or this 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 premium theme is probably worth um, probably close to 150 to 200 dollars by itself, and and it's well worth it. So if we take a look at where the traffic comes from, organic search again overwhelmingly exceeds, followed by direct and then referral. If we take a closer breakdown of where the traffic comes from. Uh, as you can see, Google, Organic, Bing, Direct, um, and then, I'm not sure what that is, and then Yahoo. Finally, the top four, again, are first world countries, developed nations, whatever you want to call them. And so that's the type of tra traffic that you want to see if you're looking to monetize a site. Now, these sites are all monetized with, with, with the exception of my largest site. Um, they're all monetized with Google Ad, Google Ad or Google AdSense. They also have affiliate links on all of them. In addition to the first two, I also have uh, I also have um, I also have a, a digital product on my first site, which also generates some income. Um, to get started with Project Twenty Four, click the link in the description. It'll be the first link to learn a, bit, a little bit more about content marketing, about how you can make money online if you're just getting started. Uh, also, if you haven't already done so, like, comment, and subscribe so that I can continue to keep bringing you uh, quality content. This is Alston. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.